Hi, I'm Anna Campbell, and I'm a medical illustrator and animator, and welcome back to my channel. So quite recently, I got a comment from one of my YouTube subscribers, Kim Chobencho. Apologies if I'm not pronouncing it correctly. And what Kim Chobencho asked was that they would love to see my process for drawing other major body tissues, like fat, muscle, connective tissues, etc. Even there are no brush shortcuts. So I thought I would make a short tutorial to showcase to you my process on how to draw muscle. <laughs> so let's start off. Here I have um, a canvas 3000 by 3000 pixels at 300 dpi. And I'm going to create a new muscle layer. I'm just going to use this brush here that's pressure sensitive and choose you know, a sort of muscle color. I guess it's not really important right now. Just something that's kind of vaguely good looking and I think what I'm gonna do for this tutorial is I'm gonna draw a fusiform muscle which is like the most recognizable muscle that us illustrators know now here what I'm gonna do is just draw some directional arrows for lighting it helps me a little bit trying to figure out where the shadows lie. And now I'm gonna give the fusible muscle some form by rendering out its shadows. And I don't like to directly draw on my layer, so I create a new layer called the shadow test layer because I tend to change my mind quite often. And I use lilac. And set it to a multiply and that usually gives me a nice color that's not too black as shadow then I just go in with a softer brush just take down the hardness and just paint in some highlights and now you can see there's some form happening right now and then I'll go in with a brush with some darker colors and then begin to detail out the muscle fibers I wasn't too happy with the brush, so what I've used is a burn tool to draw in the muscle fibers. And I'm just roughly going in and just sketching out the directional muscle fibers here. And you can see the muscle texture is just coming to take shape. Once I'm happy with that, I'll just go in with a brush and add in some details in the shadows. I don't want to do it all over because it's just not the style that I want to achieve, but you know, some people draw very detailed muscles and they turn out really beautiful. And then I'll add in some highlights to the muscle strands. By the way, this is a really sped up Photoshop uh, tutorial. I don't really draw this fast. <laughs> And then lastly, I add in some kind of uh, glossy highlights, some specular highlights. And I go in and I take the smudge tool and I smudge it out a little bit so it's not so noticeable with the Photoshop brush. And I also like to add some reflective lighting and some kind of like subsurface scattering light bleeds. So I do that and then I'll add in some reflective lights to the shadows underneath. So I don't usually do this but I'm just not too happy with the uh, you know the edges of uh, this muscle shape so I'm just gonna mask it out and make the edges a little bit cleaner. Just like that. Okay so I'm gonna push the shadows back and then pump up the uh, highlights a little bit by using a combination of the dodge and burn tools and I don't like black shadows uh, and I don't like the color I think it's a little bit too desaturated and not as warm as I want it to be so I'll take a color balance adjustment layer
right in it overall with levels. And by using adjustment layers, I don't have to commit if I don't like the changes. But you can see the difference there. I'll just uh, erase these. So I don't need them anymore. So let's. Uh, so what are muscles uh, attached to bone? With they're attached with tendons, not ligaments, like I've written here. But anyway, so let's uh, let's run out the tendons. And I'll just use uh, a gradient tool, a circle gradient tool, and just rough out a, a light blue color at the edges. Then I'll add a mask, and then I'll mask out uh, some strands with a brush and then use uh, the smudge tool just to soften the edges of the brush strokes. And then just give some form by adding some shadows and highlights. You can see it's slowly coming together now looking well, more like a muscle, more like a fusiform muscle. Let's add in some highlights here. Oop, and uh, all, the, all the shadows. Let's do the same down here. go. So once I like everything, I'll group it and um, and sometimes I just flatten it. If I don't need to do any more changes to it, I'm just gonna kind of fade off the edges there so it looks a little bit better. But what I can also do uh, if I want to change the shape is I can use the warp tool or the Photoshop puppet tool to change the shape. And if I'm not liking it so much, but I'm pretty happy with what this is. I'm just gonna add a little title here just to make it look nice. And there we have it. There's your fusiform muscle. So, thanks again for checking in and watching. Um, also, thanks for the comments. If you have any feedback or suggestions on my next tutorials, feel free to comment below. Bye, guys!